Weather has definitely taken a turn for the worse around here. Whatever nice autumn weather we were having is kind of slipping away. It means we're into the dark of November. Great time to get out and see some live music. The dark of November sounds kind of depressing. You know who's not depressing though? Ames Ponte with Maine Today Media, who's got a list of shows for us to go check yes, out. And might I add that I'm the only person on the planet who loves the whole clock thing because I'm an early bird and now I don't have to get up in the dark anymore. <laughs> I'm with so, you. I'm you with know. you on that. All okay. right, so concerts, yeah. Concerts, yeah. Show number one. I'm with her. That's happening Sunday, November 11th at the State Theater. Be still my beating heart. I'm so, so excited for this show. It's, it's a super group. It's a literal super group. Sarah Watkins from Nickel Creek, Sarah Jarose, who's a solo artist, and Eva O'Donovan, uh, formerly of Crooked Still. They met in Telluride, Colorado at a show in the summer of 2014, realized they needed to be playing together. They holed up in Vermont a year later and wrote songs, and they went to England and recorded this incredible record, which actually just came out in February. One of my favorite records of the year. They sound beautiful. I mean, from what we can hear, they sound beautiful. Oh, the together. harmony situation is just off the chart, uh, and they're all just tremendous on their own and together. And they actually, they were here last summer as, with a couple of other acts, and I couldn't go to that, so I'm very excited to uh, hit the State Theater for that one. November 11th, okay. Oh. Not one, but two shows with Sean Mullins in Maine. Thursday the 15th at Stone Mountain mm -hmm. Arts Center in Brownfield, Sunday the 18th at Johnson Hall in Gardner, and you are a big fan of Sean Well, Watts. you know, I haven't necessarily kept up with everything. Everyone, you know, 20 years ago he put out that Rockabye song, which kind of got a little crucified on the radio a little too much, but it's a wonderful song, but he has consistently, so I did a little digging, he's, he's been quietly putting out records, and so I sort of poked around and listened to stuff here and there, and I'm like, you know, this guy is a solid singer-songwriter who maybe got a little pigeonholed because of that one song, yeah. but he's like, been doing his thing and he's I, I think it's great he's coming doing two shows at Maine both at intimate spaces go see him I love when you come in with these artists and I'm like who is that and then you say what they sing and I'm like oh it's oh, that, that guy no, the sunny and chair yeah. yeah yeah that's Sean Mullins all right show number three just added Paula Cole she's gonna be at Stone Mountain Arts Center November 17th then again yeah I feel like we should just record my little my Paula Cole sales pitch. If you've never seen her live, go see her. Her most recent record is a double album called Ballads. It's songs from the American Songbook and stuff like by Nina Simone and some Bob Dylan. And she's truly one of the most tremendous vocalists of our lifetime. Go see Paula. This was this is video from when we actually yes. hung out with her in the mm -hmm. studio down the street in Portland. And she, yeah, she is fantastic and, and just a wonderful yeah, person. She pulls now. out incredible covers and her originals are great. And yeah, just tremendous. Do you have a quick key on your laptop where you just press the button and, and, and a paragraph of praise for Paula Cole <laughs> Pretty comes much. out? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I have a little tattoo on my arm here. Yeah. Copy <laughs> Absolutely. One more show. Joan Osborne, Thursday the 29th after Thanksgiving yep. at the State Theater in Portland. Mm -hmm. This is Dylanology. And this comes from music of the great Bob Dylan. Yes. Now, I saw a version of this show about a year and a half ago at the Booth Bay Opera House, and it was tremendous. And it is, you know, again, you know, kind of Sean Mullins, people think Rockabye. Well, with Joan Osborne, people think of that song, One of Us. She, too, has had this tremendous career since then, which was a mid-90s hit. Uh, about a year and a half ago, she released a record of all Dylan songs, and uh, it's just incredible. Her voice paired with his songs, just, just great. She's got these uh, great musicians backing her, Anders Osborne and pedal steel guitarist Robert Randolph. This is going to be one of the most tremendous shows of the year, I'm predicting, a week and after Thanksgiving. And she covers a range of his material, 60s, oh, yeah. 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. so she's not, not just, just the sort of the greatest hits. Yeah, I mean, she'll hit you with Tangled Up with, with, in Blue, and then she'll hit you with a lot of kind of much deeper album cuts. Uh, that's going to be a killer. You're yeah. right. Her voice is perfect for, for his songs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so go Good see shows. some live music. All right. Four shows for the dark of November. Dark of November. <laughs> Ainsel Ponte, thank you as always. My pleasure. Stick around. We're going to be right back.